Welcome. In this playthrough, we take on our final battle of Aeon's End Outcast against the Fountain of Souls. So at the end of Battle 3, we found out that we were led here to destroy the fountain instead of free everyone from it. During the further discussion, we found out Zaxos was not exactly truthful. He's trying to make things right, but the only way to do that is to destroy the fountain as it is twisting the ether and turning all their former breach mages into the nameless. So needless to say, now things have shifted. We're opening envelope four and deck four and starting the fight against the Fountain of Souls. For our nemesis, the Fountain of Souls set up. Place the Souls track next to this mat. Place the lantern token on the zero space of the lantern track. So here's this track. So we've got a Lantern here going from zero to three, and then different spaces depending on the number of players. And it looks like things are gonna go around. When the soul moves here, Gravehold suffers one damage. And we have new tokens. So we've got our Lantern Marker, which goes on the zero space. Then add an additional supply pile consisting of all the soul fires. When playing with three to four players, the players collectively gain one to two soul fires from that supply pile. So we're getting an additional gem. So gain an ether, the lantern gains one fuel, so we can make this go up, or gain an ether and discard a soul. So we replace two souls on the start space corresponding to your player count on the Fountain of Souls track. So two souls come out. And then place the soul reminder card into play. So the reminder for our soul. At the start of the Nemesis turn, move each soul clockwise one space around the Fountain of Souls track. All right, so they're gonna keep going around and damaging Zaxos, make a grave hold. Then on this side, you've got 70 health. For an Unleash, place three souls on the start space corresponding to your player account. Start of the Nemesis turn, move each soul one space. So that's on the reminder. When the Lantern has three fuel, any player may use the Lantern during their main phase to discard up to five souls distributed among two adjacent spaces. Then the Lantern loses all of its fuel. Souls cannot be damaged and are not minions. All right, so to finish our setup, Poison Heart is going on the same place it was before on the Twisted Fang. And with things going on, part of my brain is telling me I need to find a good focus between this, the Soul Fire, to deal with all the souls. And the other part of me is telling me forget about the nice balance between all those. Just go full out aggression with the Twisted Fang here. And with that option, it's going to be a quick game. Either we'll win or this will be playthrough number one of two. So we'll take Zaxos's cards here, give them a final shuffle. I've got my other card in hand. It lets me focus one of my breaches three times. Then we need to set up the Nemesis deck. So we've got his basic first nine cards, tier one two and three. We've gotten some additional basic upgrades. So we're gonna get one out of this one, three out of our twos, and no need to shuffle here because we're getting all seven of those. So now we'll just randomize these up. Get our starting nemesis set here. So level twos and then tier one. And then our turn order cards, give them a shuffle and we are ready to get going here. And this game is gonna start with the nemesis. So we've got to remember at the start of the Nemesis turn, move each soul clockwise one space around the Fountain of Souls. So these two guys or souls move to this space. 
And our first card is Loss of Will. Power of two, any player discards a soul fire in hand and suffers two damage. Well, that's making me feel like going full on attack. I'm gonna buy those and lose them. All right, next turn is us. So first thing we do is focus one of our breaches three times. So one, two, and three. Go ahead and prep a spell there. Got four money, we're gonna suffer a damage. And then move this open over to focus your closed breach with the lowest focus cost. And with the four money, Twisted Fang. Ending our turn, drawing five. We go again. Two damage, down to 68. We get to focus any player's level three breach. Prep two spells. Not enough money to buy one of those, but we will go ahead and take a Helix of Amber, gaining two, and we may suffer damage if we do destroy a card that costs zero in your hand. And end our turn, drawing five. Next turn is us. So one, two, three, down to 65. Prep a spell. Four money. We may suffer damage. We will. We're going to go over here and gain a charge and put it over on Zaxos. And with that four money, Probably should go over there, but we're gonna get some galvanized sapphire. Ending our turn. Nemesis goes. So souls move. Remove a counter and an energy leech. Six health. When this minion is dealt damage, move one soul clockwise on the Fountain of Souls track. Persistent effect, any player suffers one damage. And then our turn. So we get one, two, three, four, five damage. Taking this guy down to one. Moves one soul over. Go ahead and prep that there. We are going to gain two. Suffer a damage. Focus one of our breaches at the lowest cost. And destroy a card in hand that costs zero. So we'll get rid of one of our crystals. So we've got four money. Twisted Fang. One, two, three, four, and five. And End of round one. So the Fountain of Souls down to 65. Zaxos is still healthy at 30, and we are down to seven. And the next turn is a Nemesis. So when a soul here, down to 29. Then any player discards a soul fire in hand, but we're not buying any, and suffer two damage. So down to five. Maybe I should be concerned about healing. So put a charge on us. Then any player suffers one damage. So we're gonna go back and focus a breach. Then our next turn, a Labyrinth Wraith. Six health and one drink, so reduce to one all damage that is dealt to this by abilities and player cards. During any player's main phase, a player may spend any amount of ether to deal an equal amount of damage to this. Persistent effect, unleash, any player suffers one damage. All right, next turn, Nemesis again. 
So we're going around in circles here, taking a damage. Any player suffers a damage. So we'll gain a charge. Then we unleash, which places three souls on the start. So we'll punch out another one here. And any player suffers a damage. So we're down to two. But we're gonna go draw a card. Then we still get another card, unleashing again. So another three. Move each soul one space clockwise on the Fountain of Souls track. So these are gonna, all right. That's probably gonna be a problem. So we are gonna have to move quick. All right, so we're gonna get four turns in a row. So we're gonna deal one damage, or actually two damage, and focus our level three breach. So we'll take this guy out. So we have to move one soul clockwise on the track. That will open this breach up. Prepping two sparks. All right, we're gonna gain a money and suffer damage to go over here and get a charge. Then gain two money and let Zaxos gain a charge. We're gonna get a total of five money here and spend four of that on charges so we can gain three health. Ending our turn. We're gonna go again for one, two, three, four, down to 61. Prep two spells. Gain two ether, suffer damage down to three. Go up here and draw a card and destroy a card in hand, which will be one of our crystals. We still have four money and we're gonna spend that. Ah, so conflicted, need to do damage. So we'll buy one of those spells. We get another turn. So these are dealing one, two, three, four, five damage each. So 10 down to 51. Prepping a spell. We are going to gain one, two, three, four, five. Not taking the damage. Gives Axos a charge. And pay your way down to one health on that guy. Next round. This is Dylan two, but it's reduced to one, which is enough to take this guy out. Then we're gonna play this, taking the damage to destroy that. So down to two, but it will let us gain a charge. Then we'll spend those two for a charge and prep some spells out, ending our turn, drawing one and four more. And shuffling. So Fountain of Souls is at 51, Saxos at 28, and we are down at two. So we'll see if we can survive another round here. Nemesis goes first. Everything moves clockwise. Next card, Spirit Drain, Unleash. Three more souls. I guess we got an option. Unleash, any player returns a soul fire in hand to the supply, which we can't completely do. So we're gonna suffer four damage. All right, so not surviving through the round. So we're gonna suffer two, then the remaining two, 
Normally gets doubled back on grave hold, but his special ability is while he's exhausted, grave hold suffers one damage per one damage taken instead of two. And let me see here. Yep, so we still suffer the damage. It just goes through to grave hold. So I think our abilities are still going to trigger. So two damage over here, down to 26. And since we took damage, we're going to draw a card. And then crystal. We also unleash twice, which is not good. Six more souls. Discard all of our charge tokens and destroy one of our breaches. So that hurt. Next turn is going to be us. So five, six, seven, and eight damage down to 43. Prep some spells. Gain two money and put a charge on Zaxos. Then not suffering damage. So one, two, three, four, five money. Go for another spell. Ending our turn. Three cards plus another two. All right, next turn. 10 damage, down to 33. Prepper three spells, gain two money. We're gonna suffer a damage, which means Saxos takes the damage to destroy a card in hand. Use that to gain a charge to put over here. And with this two money, put another charge over there. We are going again for five, six, seven, eight damage, down to 25. Prepping two spells. Saxos is going to gain a charge. We're going to end up with a total of four money, choosing not to hit herself. Two of that money will be spent here which allows us to get one of these abilities. So we can discard tier one, two, or three minion on play, or any player gains two relics from any supply pile and places those cards on top of their deck. All right, glad to put these in then. We'll take two unhinged vortexes. Any ally draws three cards, then they discard a card in hand. And they go on top of her deck. And we still have two money left, so we'll throw another charge out there. Ending her turn, drawing three here, and two more. Next turn is the Nemesis. These all rotate. Got two souls, it just did two damage, so down to 23. Next card is a murky Voidborn, 11 health. Players cannot use the lantern to discard souls. Hadn't been an issue for us. Persistent effect, any player suffers two damage. Then our turn. So five, seven damage, down to 18. Prepping two spells. An ally draws three cards, then we discard a card. So one, two, three. We will discard this. Go ahead and prep that. Then do the same thing again, drawing three and discarding one. We'll discard the spark because we don't have any place to put them. 
Then we're gonna let Zaxos gain a charge. So we're banking one, two, three, four, five, six money. And we're going all charges over here. And discarding with those on the bottom. Drawing one. All right. And shuffling. So I think my plan's going well, but we'll see what these next Nemesis cards are going to do to us. We will be going first for 5, 10, and 15 damage. So down to 3. And prepping some spells. Uh, banking of money, ending our turn. That gets discarded. We've got a spark in hand. So only drawing four. Next turn would be good. Nemesis goes. So everything rotates. Six damage down to 17. Then any player suffers two damage, which is us. So going to 15. We'll go ahead and draw a card. And the Mage Devourer, 11 health. When a player deals damage to this minion, the player with the most open breaches suffers a damage. Persistent effect is Unleash, and Gravehold suffers one damage. And next turn, Nemesis. All right. So rotating over here. Any player takes two damage, which is us. We'll gain a charge over here. Then Unleash and Gravehold suffers a damage. And the next card, any player suffers three damage and Gravehold suffers three damage. So that's six damage going on Gravehold, down to six. And we'll draw a card, but next turn is us. And we Twisted Fang for five for the win. So that went quick, but it was still close. So just looking over these cards, I mean, the ones that came with this set really do help, with the green at least. Um, Without this card, this game would have been a lot different, I do believe, but I had it, so I wanted to make sure I used it. So for our conclusion, we landed the final blow, the fountain explodes, pool of formed, and we see some motion coming out, and then two new partly human, part monster figures come out, one being Arachnos and the other Desmodia. And discussions are talked about how we need to accept the fact that there's the Void and Gravehold and work together to put an end to all the nameless. So we will open the end envelope and deck and add those to our collection. And that is the end of this expedition. So our new cards. Let's see what all we have here. We've got Unstable Pyrite, a gem of two. Gain an ether, you may destroy this. If you do, gain an additional two. Orb of the Deep, a two cost relic. Focus your closed breach with the low, lowest focus cost or destroy this to gain a charge. A Rift Dagger, three cost relic. Gain a card from any other supply pile that costs three or less. You may destroy this to gain a card that costs up to four instead. You may spend one ether. If you do, place that card into your hand. And we've got the Bottled Sun, six cost relic. Zaxos gains three charges. Four cost spell, Shattering Bolt. Cast, deal two damage. You may destroy a card in hand or cast, discard a gem in hand. If you do, deal four damage. Unstable Rift. Five call spell while prepped at the end of your casting phase, deal one damage and gain an ether. On cast, dealing four damage. Then we have Gathered Will, a five call spell. 
Deal two damage. You may gain a spell from any supply pile that costs four or less and place it on top of your deck. Hasted Intellect, six call spell. While prepped, when you gain a card, you may place that card on top of your deck and deal four damage on cast. Swarm of Flame, six call spell. Deal five damage. You may cast any player's prep spell that costs five or less. Dizzying Burst, an eight call spell. A deal six damage. Reveal the turn order deck. Return it in any order. Then we've got some starter cards for Desmodia, it looks like. Uh, Swirling Darkness. This may be prepped to close breaches. On cast, focus the breach this was cast from. It's pretty interesting. Then for Arachnos here, Convergence. While prepped, when you play a gem or relic that costs three or more, gain a charge. And on cast, deal a damage. Then we have randomizers for all the new cards. Let's see. Then randomizers for all the new mages. And also for our nemesis. And two more sparks to end it up. And then our final envelope. All right, someone's getting a specialized breach. So for Arachnos, Outcast cannot gain charges. Arachnos would gain from Convergence. So his special ability is expunged. Cast any player's prep spell. That spell deals three additional damage, but it does take six charges to get that done. Then Desmodia. Her level four breach is the void breach. Any number of spells may be prepped to an open void breach. When she is exhausted, she does not discard her void breach. So the Void Vortex, any ally draws three cards and place any number of cards in your hand into their hand. Then that ally places the same number of cards in their hand into your hand. All right, so you're just swapping cards around in her Void Vortex. Does get plus one damage on cast and any number of spells prep there. I do like that. So as always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If so, please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.